I'd like you just to kind of pick just a place where you can just relax that you're not fearful of things and just get a little comfortable. You might want to sit down, you might want to lay down and let's get started. Your cell phone just rang and you answered it or you read your text message and your loved one said, I'm here, I'm outside, I'm getting ready to come knock on your door or ring your doorbell. So you hurry up and your heart rate gets a little excited. You, you probably smile just now thinking, great, I get to see my loved one. Look, you might have to put down the cleaning that you were doing. You might have to shut off your vacuum cleaner. Go ahead and do that. Shut the vacuum cleaner off. You may want to roll the cord up like it's supposed to be if you're a tidy person, or you might want to lay it there still plugged into the wall because you're going to finish after your loved one leaves. And after you do that, you're going to maybe put on some slippers or just go in your bare feet to the front door or the side door, wherever they're at. And there you see, you see a shadow in the door. You peek in the peek hole to make sure that's them. Oh, and you look through and you see their big smile. They're so happy to see you. You probably are ready said, hey, I see you. And then they answer back, it's me, mom. Unlock the latch. You unlock the deadbolt. You open the handle. And there you see your loved one. Oh, and you smell the crisp air of the morning hitting your face along with some sunshine, maybe. You start to hear the birds a little bit more clearer. The birds are really chatting away this morning about the nice weather. You might smell your fresh gardenia. You might smell your fresh lavender outside that you planted last year. You open the screen and then you let your loved one in and you, of course, you give them a big hug. Oh, they feel so good. You hug your heart to their heart. So it's a heart to heart connection. You feel that energy transfer. Oh, and it feels so good. They may smell like perfume and you think, oh, wow, what is that perfume? Is that a new perfume? They may say, oh, no, that's just my regular soap that I use. You might feel how warm they are. It feels so good to feel their loving presence in your arms, finally, where you can protect them again. Then you decide it's time to release your arms around your loved one. Let's say it's your son or your daughter, it's your child. So you release your child and you just look at them, look at their faces. You think, oh, look at their eyes. Oh, I've always loved their eyes. You might touch their cheeks. And then you just kind of just look at their clothes. You say, well, now I like your blue shirt. I like your pants. They're really comfortable and loose looking. They might be wearing cute little flip-flops, you think. So then you let them in further into your home and you just notice how much better it is in the room that somebody else is there with you. So you lead them into the kitchen where you say, have a seat. You might make them some ice cold lemonade that you had ready for yourself, but now you can share it. So you get a glass out of the cupboard, you hear the clinking, you put it on the table, and you get your little ice and drop a few, clink, 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 clink. A little bit falls on the floor, that's okay, it's going to melt pretty soon anyway. So there, look at them sitting there, the sunlight's coming through their hair. Oh, you just always love the color of their hair. Maybe their hair's gotten a little bit longer because they haven't had to get it cut. They couldn't get it cut during the pandemic. Oh, it's so nice to have your child back in your home again. As I sit there, you think, boy, they sure do look like their dad. Look at all those freckles. Look at that dimple. Maybe they're checking their phone and you think, boy, they're always on Facebook, they're always on YouTube, but that's okay. You're busy getting the lemonade out of your refrigerator. It's on the second shelf. Gonna lift it out of there. It's full because you haven't used it yet. It's fresh. 
You just made it yesterday because you were bored. You see the lemon, the light, light, pale, yellow, kind of cloudy from all the sugar that you put in there. You put three cups of sugar and the cleanest of water sparkles in the sunshine. Oh, and you're getting ready to share this fresh lemonade. So you take it over, there's some condensation already forming on the outside of the pitcher as you take it over to the kitchen table where the glass and the ice are sitting in front of your loved one. You start to pour the lemonade over the ice cubes. It starts to melt them right away. They start to float to the top. A little bit drips off the side of the pitcher and onto the table. As you see it there, you might want to wipe it off so ants don't get in there. Or you might want to just wipe it off with your hand and wipe it off onto your, your pants or your slacks. You might leave the pitcher there. They might want more in just a little bit. You pull up a chair and you sit next to your loved one. You just gaze as they gulp that delicious, sweet, cold lemonade down. See their Adam's apple go up and down as they slowly gulp and enjoy that delicious, delicious lemonade. As they sip and they get refreshed, you just sit by them. You might sense the, the nice soap smell that you smelled when you first gave them a hug when they came in. You might notice that, you know, when you sit, your pants are a little bit tighter than they used to be. So you might unbutton your pants a little just to get comfortable. You might have to adjust your bra because it kind of, the strap slipped down a little bit. You might want to adjust that. And so then you just sit close to your child and you touch their arm. You just sit there enjoying their presence. And you tell them, I'm so happy you're here. And they tell you, Mom, I missed you so much. And they even lean over and give you a big hug. And then they put their head on your chest, just like they used to. And you just sit there your chest goes up and down with your breath, up and down. Their head doesn't feel heavy at all, up and down. You might stroke their hair with your left hand. kiss the top of their head. The top of their head's a little bit sweaty like it used to be when they were running around with their friends. Your chest is going up and down with every breath. You breathe in their shampoo, sweaty head smell. Deep breath in. You let it out. Deep breath in. And you let it out. Deep breath in. And you let it out. And you don't stop until they decide that it's time for them to get up. They say, well, I've got to get back to work. I gave you a kiss on your cheek. It feels so nice. So you get up with them. You take their glass to the sink, or if they've already done that, you say, just leave it there. I'll clean it later. 
the glass is empty. They help you by taking the pitcher of lemonade on the table open the refrigerator door and that cool refrigerated air comes rushing out at them. And they stand there and enjoy that for a while. And they put the pitcher back in on the second shelf. And they slowly close the door of the refrigerator. Then they walk over to you and they take your left hand. They say, come on mom, walk me to the door. So you walk with them side by side. You squeeze their hand. They squeeze your hand back. Uh, you notice the heat from the front door coming in already. You give them a big mama bear hug like they used to love when they were little because you know you're going to see them again, but you want to make it last a long time. You want to let them know how much you love them and care about them. Squeeze and squeeze your child. Deep breath. Let it out. And they go, oh, mama, you give the best hugs ever. When you decide it's time to release them, till next time, you give them a swat on their bottom and say, go get them. Go help all those people in the world that love you so much. They open this door and they open the screen door and they look back at you and they smile real big. They go, mom, you make the best lemonade. I'll see you tomorrow. Just watch from the screen. You don't mind the heat coming in. You just want to make sure they get down to the sidewalk to the street okay. They go down the sidewalk. They go down the little stairs. They go around the back of their car, around to the driver's side. You can still see them there. They beep their car open. Beep, beep. The door opens and you see them slip into their driver's seat, but they give a wave first. They give a little quick wave with their right hand. They go, I love you, mama. And you go, oh, I love you too, baby. Love you too. You make me so proud. I love you so much. They get in the car safely and soundly because you've been watching them the whole way just like you used to when they boarded the school bus. And they quietly shut the car door. They start the car. You still watching because you want to make sure everything goes okay. You see the brake lights go on. They're making sure the traffic's okay to pull out into. They see that you see the left turn signal. Check twice like you told them when they were little. They pull slowly out into the street and you watch to the right as they go down the street. They stop at the stop sign at the end of the street. You can still see them with the brake lights on. You can't wait to see them tomorrow at their lunch break. And then you see the car slowly turn to the right and out of sight. So you lock the screen door, you close the door behind you and lock it, you lock the deadbolt and you lock the latch, and you look back at your house and you think, oh, it even seems lighter in here. So you go back to the vacuum, you turn it on, you have more energy now, you got more excitement in your day. 